17 years old, sporting my nut-hugging elephant bells and my too tight tee with a rolling stone's tongue, just licking the world. Sonny, who's now my father confessor slash fairy godmother slash employment counselor slash you. Mm -hmm guides me through the 20-foot doors of the Mulholland Mansion, and it's an exciting time in the life of a young chicken at his first orgy. <laughs> Underfoot, the marble floor is cold and butch. A chandelier twinkles like a drag queen on Halloween. It's one of those moments in life where you just know things are either gonna get a lot better or a lot worse. <laughs> Ooh, Sonny is in the house. Oh, yes. Look what the cat Jay did. And the cat has got himself a chicken. Sonny's gotten it. Well, I'm a, mm -hmm, and a, you got that right for everybody. B, I'm just trying to take the advice he gave me earlier. He said, boy, I'm going to tell you all you need to know, son. Just look like you got a big dick. That's all. <laughs> so I'm trying to construct a large penis look on my face. Like, <laughs> Sadly, I'm afraid I look more constipated than hung, to be honest. Um, hundreds of eyeballs train their periscopes on me, and I dig the warm, wet heat. There are three populations at the orgy. The old bastards, puffy, gray, and rich. We're their fountain of youth, and they want to suck us dry as death sits in their living room, waiting. Two, the middlemen, Fagans, like Sonny, looking to make a quick, slick buck. And three, the freaks, chickens and chickadees, bruised, two cool schoolgirls, and hot, haunted jocks, lots of old faces on young bodies. I watch myself, watching them, watching us, wrapped in a cocoon of my own scar tissue. A thin young woman appears out of nowhere in a white wig, wearing nothing but a light on her head. Like all my poultry peers, sometimes she looks 14, sometimes she looks 40. Boy, said Sonny, this here's Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell, she says. I'm from Never Never Land. I'm David, I say. I'll never grow up. Boy, says Sonny, why don't you dance with Tinkerbell? Do a little dance with Tinkerbell. You know what I'm saying, son? Go over there and dance with Tinkerbell. Me and Tink were in sync, in utero, bump for bump, grind for grind. She's so fine, I'm about to lose my mind. Tink then digs her talons into my shoulders hard. Ow! God damn, I yell in my mouth rips into her neck with nothing but sheer instinct and Tink screams in blood pleasure, heavy love sweat flying off as the gathering crowd oozes and ahs. Suddenly I have a vision. Me and Tinkerbell were in the Smoky Mountains. There's a little log cabin. There's some cows and pigs and corn on the cob and we're making beautiful little freak babies together. Boom! Then suddenly we're back at the orgy and Tinker Tinkerbell's vapor locked on me and Oh, sweet baby Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph. The rapture flows from her into me, into her in an endless, sensuous, Mobius strip, feeding her, feeding me, and I feel connected to the life force that flows through all living things. And then she takes my hand lovingly and bites it hard. Ow, God damn it. Oh, shit, that hurts. So I slam into her as hard as I can, and I hit a spot all the way inside her, and she pours forth a soaring, roaring jungle scream. And oh my God, it's hot in there. One big, writhing mass of flesh feeding her, feeding me, and then a hand grabs Tinkerbell and dra drags her away, and she disappears through the sea of freaks back to Never Never Land. The strobe light turns everything into a series of stop-action Picasso snapshots. Boom! A tattoo of a shark swims across a Botticelli bottom. Boom! A Ku Klux Klan grandmaster wizard has his white ass paddled by a man, Aunt Jemima. Boom! 
A 300 pound behemoth wearing nothing but a death mask and a cod piece is whipped by a 90 pound madam butterfly till a welt blossoms like a flesh flower that she whispers sweet nothings into his ear. I come to, like a caterpillar awakening from a butterfly dream. Sunny opens a side door and next thing I know, we're floating home through the sweetness of the alabaster night. Woo-wee, says Sonny. Well, it's my boy. You done good tonight, son. You done good. I'm proud of you, boy. Oh, uh, thanks, man, I say. Thanks a lot. And as we leave the orgy, I picture my grandfather, a coal miner who died in the black pits of northern England. And I think to myself, America, what a country! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>